Jannard ain't the snitch. It could be big. We'll see. I have to tell you how much I fucking hate rats. Rodent kind of the snitch kind. The snitch kind. This ain't no torture that's evil and sadistic enough for them. That's old slip, right? I mean... This ain't fucking over. It is for you. Right answer. Make that fucker pay for what he done. Welcome back, Top Notch Gang. I have another banger for you guys. And this one is, of course, talking about how Tommy now knows Vic is the snitch. We, of course, got a leaked scene from the upcoming episode this week. So I want to talk about how Tommy knows, how he plans to go about, because the episode 9 trailer also gave us hints and details to point that out. And in this new specific scene, Tommy's talking about how he hates snitches. And we all know that to be true. I made a whole video talking about how Tommy handles snitches in the past and we're gonna review that in this video as well of course we got to talk about proctor we got to talk about maria garcia we have to of course talk about his dad tony Teresa. we have to talk about spanky we even have to talk about how he reacted to diamond sneaking around with Seamus. he almost killed diamond because of that so tommy when he says he hates fucking snitches like really hates them and he's telling Vic this in his new leak scene he means it so i have a great idea about how he goes about this whole thing and why he he is telling Vic this whole conversation, letting him know ahead of time. Cause it's obvious in this scene, he thinks it's Vic and or he knows it's Vic and he wants him to be afraid. He wants him to be scared. And we're gonna dive into why in this video. Also before the episode drops Thursday night, I'm gonna be doing a final debt prediction video that probably drops Tuesday or Wednesday. So be on the lookout for that. And also I just did a video on a new Raising Canaan trailer. If you guys want me to make any videos on Raising Kane and any characters predictions or anything before the new season comes out i want you to leave that down below in the comments as well but enough talking let's get into how tommy knows vic is the snitch how he decides to handle it how he handles snitches in the past and everything that's gonna go down in season two episode nine of power book force so first we got to talk about how he handles snitches in the past everyone he's killed and i think this is very important because in that intro clip y'all seen he said there's nothing sadistic enough or torturous enough and to digest killing them there's nothing he could ever do enough for rats for them being who they are but we've seen in the past he smoked pretty much anybody who either uttered a word and i think because of this he's gonna take a different approach when it comes to Vic. but of course we're gonna talk about that later let's first dive into the snitches that he killed in the past now let's start with our boy proctor now we're gonna speed run these characters because there's a few of them we gotta talk about so proctor of course was fighting for custody of his daughter with his ex-wife so his ex-wife was working with the da trying to get information on him and ended up putting a bug on proctor's daughter's bag and due to this proctor forcefully made his ex-wife relapse and didn't call the police to get her help and basically let her die and because of this of course the recording they got him letting her die everything like that and they used this to blackmail him to get information about who killed angela now they wanted him to of course admit that it was ghost even though he knew it was tommy so he was willing to give up information on tommy yet protect ghost he even told ghost when he wore the wire in front of him Tommy actually didn't get wind of this information until he went to kill another snitch that we're going to talk about next. But he was hiding in the closet. Sax was talking to the girl, talking to the snitch, the informer, everything like that. And he let it leak that Proctor's also giving them information on them. So due to this, Tommy killed two snitches within one episode. And this is the first of many that shows he takes a fast approach when he learned about snitches that I think he won't do with Vic. So he goes to Ghost's penthouse of course proctor was hiding out there ghost let him go there to hide out to get away and 
Tariq helps Tommy with this plan, lets him in, and he smokes our boy Proctor. On to Maria Garcia. We're gonna speed run her. A lot of you guys probably don't even remember her, but in the very first episode of Power, Ghost killed this guy and he let the girl go. That was, of course, her boyfriend, and the girl was Maria Garcia. She came back way seasons later when she heard Ghost's voice on the news. Cause remember, she never saw his face. She had a blindfold on, but she remembered his voice and she was gonna use that to testify against Ghost. But this is after. After Angela died wanting to be a changed man wanting not to kill her he went and gave her a bunch of money to take back her testimony and just not rat on him and Dre and Sax was of course using this to bring down Ghost as well Tommy he doesn't give a fuck about none of that he still and went and killed this Maria girl and it's safe to say if he never went and did this he would have never got the information that Proctor was a snitch as well so we saw he quickly dispatched two snitches in one fucking episode cancel Christmas was on the ass like he always says like he doesn't play about this and we see this going into our third snitch Tony Teresi, his own dad. Tony got out of jail early because of his wife. She was sick. He wanted to be there for her when she dies, everything like that. But the feds wanted information on Ghost and Tommy. Ghost was keeping him at arm's length, not giving him anything. But as him and Tommy started to grow closer, he didn't want to snitch on Tommy anymore. He wanted only to give information on Ghost. But eventually, Angela, of course, working with the DAs and everything like that, she got the information that Tony was the snitch and everything like that and went and gave that information to Ghost. Ghost, knowing he can't do it himself, how Tommy would react, he went and gave that information to the Italians and told the Italians to tell Tommy to get the job done and he would do it. He didn't want to go and approach Tommy with the information himself. Of course, Tommy really not having a choice, knowing his dad is a snitch, and no matter how close they are, he had to eliminate him. So this goes to show you that no one is fucking safe. And this is even going into the next and final snitch we gotta talk about, and that's Spanky. Tommy, at this point, this is like the last episode of the original Power. He's leaving, he's going to LA before he stopped in Chicago, for you guys that don't know. He was originally supposed to go to LA, but 2-Bit, who was in jail with Spanky at the time, called Tommy when he noticed Spanky got out and told him that Spanky was the snitch. So Tommy, on his way out, leaving New York anyway, with no reason to he could just go, spins back on Spanky and still kills that nigga, gets him up out the way. So... He doesn't let any form of snitching slide, whether it's on him, his friends, his enemies, anything like that. That's how the game goes for him, and that's how it always would be. And the last thing to mention, of course, we saw this play out when in season two, episode four, he kept seeing Seamus and Diamond having conversations alone. He kept spotting them every which way. And of course, we know this was because Diamond dealed a batch of drugs that got Seamus' sister in critical condition. Basically, she needs money to constantly state living so that's why he's been paying him all this constant money that's why he's been meeting up with him but tommy not knowing this pulled up on diamond almost threatened to kill him if he was a snitch of course that didn't end up happening but we see he take action right away now let's get into what i think he will do with Vic, because once again i think it'll be a lot different based off that leak scene in this coming episode i think he'll take a way different approach and how he handles Vic, and i think you guys are going to be surprised by what i say now what is tommy gonna do with Vic? will he just kill him i honestly don't think so i don't think he would have raised his suspicion in these two scenes like pete like i said if he was just gonna take him out he wouldn't let him know he was on to him and this is very important because we see a lot of scenes in the new trailer like i mentioned we see diamond drowning somebody we see tommy and diamond with a shovel leaving a burial and of course we get the intro of them saying either janard or figures the snitch and tommy says they're gonna watch out for both of them so we get a lot of information about it could be possibly killing them in this episode but then there's like a sliver of a clip a small little clip that flies past where we see them torturing someone now i mistakenly in my diamond video said this was diamond and tommy torturing someone but as we can see it's someone white handing tommy the knife to torture somebody so we see him in the clip the new clip i'm talking about now talking about how torture isn't good enough how he really hates rats and i think he will take Vic 
to someone else basically lying about them being a rat torturing them in front fake and see how he responds and acts i think he'll get Vic to do it with him really push Vic to the limits until he either admits it he either comes out he tries to leave something i think because of this small sliver of a clip i know it's i'm not working with much but i think it makes sense based off the scene of him saying about the torture and how he really hates rats and based off all the snitches he killed in the past like i mentioned i I think because of this small clip him and Vic will be torturing someone in this episode and we'll see the pain on Vic's face how we see him in a scene with Tommy doesn't really want to do this he's having regrets but I think he's just gonna have to continuously go through with it and he really doesn't have no other way especially because we saw him go through with killing the agent Vargas and then blaming that on Tommy Tommy told him in that scene it, to prove you're not a snitch kill the fed and he did it but he, of course he blamed that body on Tommy so I think in this next episode we're gonna see him and Tommy torturing someone I want to see I think Tommy is gonna want to see if Vic folds how much he could tolerate if he's really a snitch or not I think in this next episode he's gonna push him to the limit and I don't think he's gonna kill him just yet I think Vic is still too important to the storyline I don't think he'll die in this next episode but we're just gonna have to wait and see but overall that's it for this video you guys can let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments as well do you, what do you think Tommy would do about Vic? Because I don't think he'll kill him just yet. I think this scene with this torture makes a lot of sense. But what do you guys think based off all the clips that I've shown you how he handled snitches in the past? It seems like he wants to take a different approach to how he decides to handle Vic this time. And that could have a whole different outcome from what we've seen in the past. So I'd like to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions on this Vic and Tommy situation about Vic being a snitch. Or even if you think Tommy doesn't kill Vic, what do you guys think? Vic will decide to do go through with this torture try to run leave go into witness protection let me know all your thoughts and opinions down below and once again I told you guys you could comment anything you specifically you want me to talk about raising Canaan for that upcoming show I believe it airs December 1st leave that down below as well as usual leave a like subscribe and I'm out